Well, it's not quite a nor'easter, but the rain's coming down pretty good here at Fenway Park in Boston. We celebrate Jackie Robinson Day with a great matchup between the Baltimore Orioles and the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox have won five games in a row. They'll look for number six right after this. David Price, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that. But this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. At the plate, Cesar Morales. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. And we are underway from Fenway as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. They come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Matty, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? You know, Matt, a big part of the offense is Mark Trumbo. The guy is in the middle of the lineup, and when he's in the middle, things just happen. Guys in front of him get on, he drives them in, and if not, he has the ability to get things started and set the guys up behind him. He's a force. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. Lifetime versus David Price. He's a 333 hitter. Now the first pitch here from Price. A ball and no strikes. Hey, I know it's early on in the game, but when a third pitch like that is called for a ball, it looks like that tight zone is going to be awfully small today. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. Hit sharply on the ground. Gloved by Bogarts. On to first, and the price is right here, two away. That Settling perfect. in now, Jonathan Villar. First chance Jonathan. for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. First pitch on its way. And he gets ahead 0-1. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. Fastball called for strike two. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A called strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Now the 0-2 from Price. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. O's zero. Sox coming to the plate. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Alex Cobb is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's had a solid year up to this point. It's not an easy thing to do in baseball this year with all the high scoring games, but this guy has an ERA of sub three, and that's saying something. If he continues to do that, I think you're going to see a really good performance out of him in this one. Now at the plate, Andrew Rudy Benintendi. Gone. He'll leave things off gone. here in the bottom half of the no first. Fielder, Andrew Benintendi. He's ready. Here's the first offering. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Well, guys, these Orioles entering play today. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matt, they have to avoid the sweep right here, especially a four-game sweep. That can be devastating to the psyche of a team. It's okay. I, it happens. Throughout the course of a season, you're going to drop three in a row. But to get pounded four games by the same team can happen. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Line drive to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. 
Hey, you want to be the team on the attack, without that question. Exactly. In the bottom of the, the first, right starting it off with a leadoff Mookie. single gets everyone in your dugout yeah. going. Here's Mookie Betts, lifetime history with Alex Cobb. He's a 333 hitter. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. As a look, now the pitch. Lifted down the line and left. Mancini has a beat on it. And that's the first out of the inning. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, you have to be really impressed with what J.D. Martinez does for this offense. He had a big year last year. Over 120 RBIs. That's being really consistent. You can't let many opportunities pass you up and still drive in 120. That's just not heard of very often. Now with the plate, Xander Bogarts. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. Go. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And here's a ball hit in the air. Rickard is after it. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Man. So here's the Boston Batting cleanup four. hitter, J.D. Martinez. And he's definitely hey. off to a fast start in the oh, early part of the season. He's set. Here it comes. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a poodle. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. One left for the Red Sox, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Start of the second here in Boston. Let's check in with Heidi for a bit more on the weather. Matt, I am hearing that heavier rain is expected to pass through the ballpark at some point later in the game. The umpiring crew would, of course, like to get this one in uninterrupted, but it is possible that we could be looking at some sort of a delay if they determine the weather is impacting the play on the field. All right, Heidi, thanks. We'll hope for the best, of course, but guys, you have to assume these players are probably going to be impacted by this weather at least a little. Yeah, Matty, 100% it's going to be bothersome. They're going to have to watch their spikes. They're going to have to maybe gather themselves to get that extra grip on the baseball. But from a position player standpoint, you just can't lose focus. Starting pitchers are the ones that are going to have the most problems with it. Lifetime versus David Price. He has nine base hits in 43 tries. Two of those hits were for home runs. Here's Price now on 1-0. Fouled straight back. The 1-1 one, one from Price. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to 2-1 and one now. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Yeah, Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the game, I think. Consistent, well-respected, accurate strike zone. Uh, Debro, you hit it right there. He makes you bring the ball over the plate. We'll give a little bit off the strike zone. I think the one thing that's important that he does, he has the same strike zone in the first inning. You'll see that same strike zone in the ninth. Now Price misses here on two and two, and he runs it full. Three balls and two strikes.
grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Man, that, at bats yeah. like this make the every hitting field. coach happy. Right. This is what they all preach. Stay right. inside the ball, stay behind the ball. You can see he lets this one travel deep, then just inside out this thing off the right center field wall. That's some rare power there and a little bit scary to opposing pitchers. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. And he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah, great RBI opportunity here, but at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. First pitch on its way. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Start it at the front hip and bring it back. Hard hit to first. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Hey, this has that the makings of being a pretty big Instead hitting D row leadoff double now with base hit, and all of a sudden we're looking at first and third. Yeah, sometimes you wake up, you just get smacked in the mouth right here. He's going to have to start executing pitches. He cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here. He's going to have damage on his hands. Standing in now, DJ Stewart. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Runners are at first and third with none out. Not close. It's 2-0. Oh. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Now the 2-0. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. Total agreement, man. In particular, that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now so the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions that's, that's, on the field that's the a big no no he obviously right. had to work carefully with two men on but he did not want to walk him to load the bases now he's really got his work cut out for him we'll see how he fares here here's Chris Davis now lifetime versus David Price He's collected 11 hits in 43 tries. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Davis has a batting line residing in the 230s. You know, Matty, I know his career batting average jumps off at the page, but this guy can help a roster. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Ranging back is Bradley, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2 nothing ball game. Yeah, with the bases loaded, he didn't walk a run in, so instead he makes the cardinal mistake of putting it right in the heart of the plate. And when you do that, you're going to pay the price, and that's exactly what happens with a two RBI double. Stepping in now, Jesus Sucre. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Betts has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he might have thought about it at third, but with one away, decides not to risk it. All right, let's take a quick look at how the Red Sox set up on D today. And guys, one thing I want you to focus on today when you look at this team on the defensive side of the ball, they're in the top five in fielding percentage. They go about their business a certain way. They make all the routine plays, mix in a few flashy ones, and day after day, they give their pitchers the best chance to be successful. That'll bring in Joey Rickard. He's got over his first six at-bats in the series so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Right there for strike one. Go back 
Price ready with the 0-1. Nope, Ball not. one. The 1-1 one, one home is looked at for ball number two. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on, but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Not quite out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard. Man, you can't hit it any better than that and keep it in the park. As we take a look here, you can see that it hits high Caesar. off the wall. Almost Whoa, a three-run homer, but will have to be content with a two-RBI double. Into the box now, Caesar Morales. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's a cutter that's off the plate, one and one. The one one home. Line drive, base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the now guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. He had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. In now, Alcides Escobar as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Bradley is there. Let's see if they test it. And the run will score on the sacrifice fly, so it's now a 5 nothing game. That now was bad. a good Second controlled base. swing out of him there, Jonathan and that's exactly Yon. what he was hoping to do. Get it into the outfield and pick up the RBI. Digging in to try it again, Jonathan Villar. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Maddie, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. No balls in one strike. All right, all right. Get out of there. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Ball. And that misses one and one. Called strike two on the cutter, and he's behind in the count now, one and two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. Two balls and two strikes to Jonathan VR. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two-thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. Now a snap move over to first, and the runner will get back standing. Set to deal on two and two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Oh, and they've got him picked off. 
the tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Nine men come to the plate, however. Five of them score. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Orioles five and the Red Sox nothing. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Lifetime history with Alex Cobb. He's got five base baseman. hits in 27 at-bats. Pedroia. Here comes the first pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Yeah, you attack the zone and get a swing and a miss that late on your first pitch fastball. Good chance he's coming right back with the same thing. The wind up and the 0 1. Grounded to third. Davis has it. And there's one down now. Okay, that here's how the birds line up today on defense. And I want to talk about shortstop Alcides Escobar. This guy's a premium defender. He's been that way his whole career. A former World Series champion. They have ability to go up the middle and to the backhand with a strong arm. Here's Steve Pierce now. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. First offering on its way. Oh. Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. Oh. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Moving under it, Mancini. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. So digging in now, Eduardo Nunez, and he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. First pitch of the at bat, and he starts him out with a splitter for a called strike. High and deep down the left field line, and this will wind up a foul ball. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. The one two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Looped out toward third. Go on to Trumbull will be in time and the inning is over. So nothing happening this time around. We've played two full. It's the Orioles five and the Red Sox nothing. Coming to the plate now, Jonathan Villar. As we are all set to begin the third That's inning in this one. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one. You can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. What a well executed pitch right there. Just a little bit off the corner right there. Got a great hitter to go a little bit outside his zone. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. One and two. I think getting the leadoff man in every inning is important as a pitcher. When you're coming off an inning that you really labored through, it makes all the difference mentally. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American Oriole. League East as you get a look at where baseman. these two teams find Mark. themselves entering Trouble. play. Trouble. 
So one away here with the bases empty and that'll bring up the big power bat of Mark Trumbo. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss and he's behind 0 and 1. Bases are empty one man out. Oh and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. Now here's the pitch. Oh, and he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Certainly not showing any signs of intimidation with these middle of the order guys. That's back to back K's and the three and four guys are harmlessly back in the dugout. Stepping in Trey Mancini first two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. One one and he fouls this one off two out nobody on and just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order one two three go the Orioles as they're unable to add to their five nothing lead. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Lifetime history Leading with off. Alex Cobb. Well, well, He's taken four hits no, in 20 at bats. He's gone Jackie. down on strikes eight times Bradley. as well. Junior. First pitch on its way. Oh, tried to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. But this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Now a good pitch around the knees but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. A ball and two strikes. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip on the first to record the out. Set to get his day started, Christian Vasquez. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. High and away on the first pitch fastball there. It's ball one. One out, nobody on. Count now a ball and a strike. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. High in the air out to center field. Stewart is there, two gone. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Cobb looks in. First pitch on its way. In there, 0 and 1. So far, this has been a very good outing for this guy. Listen, he doesn't have the best stuff, but what he needs to do, and he's doing it right now, throwing strikes early, trying to initiate a lot of contact. The more pitches that the hitters see off this guy, the better chance. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. 
Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings, and he's really pleased with how they've performed in run scoring opportunities in this one. As a team, they're hitting over 500 with runners in scoring position, something that is way easier said than done. So, undeniably, that's been a huge factor in this game. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready for another chance? DJ Stewart, no official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Now the first pitch here from Price. Too high that time with the innings first pitch. Hits ball one. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him this first time up and now they're nibbling again. In there, two and one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Chris Davis will be next. Here's Price on three and one. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Bradley on the run. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. A chance now for that. last year's Third MVP runner-up with the bases empty and one Big away. Ball. Here's Chris Davis. First pitch of the at-bat. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. And 2 0 now as this misses below the knees. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. Bases are empty, one man out. Three and 0 now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one, but that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 count. And now pitch on the way. And that misses as Davis will reach. It's ball four. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, but he would have needed now a telephone pole to hit that thing way mm -hmm. out of the zone. Sucre. Now at the plate, Jesus Sucre flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. The cutter That's runs outside. Ball one. Ball one Man, no he cut. just missed the zone right there. One of the toughest pitches in the game, that backdoor cutter. As an offensive player, you give up on that pitch. As soon as it comes out of the hand, next thing you know, it's trying to grab the corner. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. There's one. Return throw is in time. That they do turn to, and it gets him out of the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. To the bottom of inning number four, we go. The Orioles are on top, five to nothing. Stepping up now, Mookie Betts, a reigning batting champion in the American League. Lots of baseball left in this one if we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Stewart ranging back, and it's off the green monster. And the Red Sox have something going. It's a leadoff double. So up until this point, they've had to bite and scratch for every single thing. But he puts a good swing on this one and nearly knocks it out of the park. So we'll see if it's contagious and his partner can pick him up right here. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Line drive to center field. 
Stewart is there and he has it for the first down. Well, we've mentioned the conditions now aren't that, ideal the with the rain coming is. down, and that can make every play a little oh, bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. For the plate now is the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. A ball and a strike now. Betts, the runner at second with one away. This one's down to third. And that's the second out. Now in the box, oh, Dustin the Pedroia. Box. The second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. with the first pitch here it comes and a fastball is in there for strike one and Pedroia behind Owen two now Pedroia is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate more often than not he gets contact and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher standpoint you know he takes his chances when he has count and the throw is in time to get him to retire the side Red Sox leave one need to get it going soon it's five nothing. Stepping up to the plate, Joey Rickard. He'll start off, off the fifth the in this one. The right fielder, Joey Rickard. First offering on its way. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Up next for Ready for another shot now. Cesar hit. Morales. Caesar. A hit in two tries Whoa, so Ballard. far. First pitch coming, here it is. Cut fastball taken for strike one. Five runs, five hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Pedroia into shallow center. He gets there and makes the play for the second now out of the inning. The shortstop. So two are gone Escobar. now in the Baltimore fifth and up next will be the shortstop Alcides Escobar. He's ready. Here's the first offering. First pitch fastball in on the fists for ball one. And that's too high ball two. Bases are empty here with two men out. This is line to left. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Everybody's different coming out of spring training. Some guys get off to torrid starts. Some guys struggle. This is one that struggled, but maybe that single gets him going. Here comes the Red Sox manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And that's going to be all this afternoon for David Price. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds, and he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Erasmo Ramirez please. takes over now here with a runner the at first time. and two gone in the Number inning. 42. Erasmo Ramirez.
standing in now Jonathan VR as he'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one no hits to this point. A ball and a strike. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. A ball and two strikes now. The one two locks him up for strike three. One left for the Orioles, but they hold a five nothing lead. Back now at Fenway Park and here's Heidi Watney with a report. Well Matt I talked with manager Alex Cora during the break about his thoughts on the Red Sox hitters to this point and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results until they start being more selective with their swings. He said they will continue to struggle. OK thank you Heidi. So coming to the plate Steve Pierce he leads off in the bottom off. of the fifth as they look to Red break Sox. through on the scoreboard for the, the first baseman. time in this one. Yeah baseball is a game of adjustments and it's time they start making some they don't need to change their entire approach necessarily but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. First pitch on its way. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's 1 and 2. Not a bad pitch right there on 0 and 2 a fastball and I think as a hitter right now you have to continue to go up there looking to hit off the fastball. The one two he is swung on and missed he got him. Well this has been a completely different performance from the oh, offense that we saw Sox. yesterday. They were the looking like the 27 man. Yankees 24 hours ago but they've Hell been held yeah. in check so far in this one. That's kind of how baseball goes though. So the base is empty here with one away and that'll bring up the utility man Eduardo Nunez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit to first. Trumbo fields it cleanly and he'll step on first himself for the out. The ball. Digging the in, field. Jackie Bradley Jr. Jackie. He's 0 for 1 Bradley. thus far. Junior. First pitch of the at bat. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. Hey, he's close to having another quick inning right there with two quick outs. He's been very economical with his pitches, and if he continues to go like this, the bullpen might get a day off. One and one. You know, you don't face too many guys that have thrown a nasty splitter like he has today. He's had this lineup off balance all game with that pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Mancini waits on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Red Sox go down one two three. They can't chip into that five nothing deficit. Ready now for Baltimore. Mark Trumbo. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. Mark Trumbo. First pitch on its way. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Okay, 
Oh and one count and the pitch. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. Bradley is there. One out. Now batting. Ready once again, Trey Mancini head to head with Erasmo Ramirez. He's 0 for 7. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A shot down the first baseline. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now batting. Into the box now. DJ Stewart. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Gone. He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Fourth home run here in the early going. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. Now batting. The third baseman, Chris. Into the box, Davis. Chris Davis. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Davis, who's often called Crush Davis. He was a fifth round pick during the first year player draft of 2006. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Behind 0 and 2 now. Six runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. The one two. Little chopper back to the mound. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. Orioles add on thanks to the solo home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's the Orioles six, and the Red Sox nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Christian Vasquez. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. First offering on its way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. This guy's been on cruise control as we head into the middle innings of this one. And one of the big factors why, how about 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. But this is gloved over there at first as he was in the right now spot at the right time. Field. One away. Andrew. Striding in once Andrew. again, Andrew Benintendi. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at-bats thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Hit in the air down the right field line, but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. A bouncer up the middle. And there's out number two. The batter. Stepping into the box, Mookie Betts. He doubled his last time through. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. 
Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. One ball, no strikes to count. Two out, nobody on. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. The 1 1 home. This is skied into short left center. Stewart on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. They still find themselves down six zip. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Orioles leading this one through six as we take a look at our game summary to this point. In now for the O's, Jesus Sucre. He'll lead things off, off as they look to perhaps the build on an already Jesus. sizable lead. Sucre. From the stretch. Ball. Too high to start the inning. It's 1 0. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. Mine to the right side. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality yeah, pitch on the inside right half field. of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D. Rowe, and he Richter. fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Striding into the box, Joey Rickard. One for two with a double on his line thus far. First pitch on its way and a fastball to start things out here not close it's a ball and no strikes. The one one is taken for ball two. Sucre aboard here at first with nobody out. Hey. Two and two. Woo. The two two lifted down the line and left and that will end up a foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. This is foul right side. Another 2-2 two -two offering and it's fouled away. Here we go guys, come on. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own and he's obviously seeing the ball well or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long epic at bats you start to get into swing mode. And now a double play ball perhaps for Pedroia. Scooped up one there on the Pierce at first but too late to get them both. So the lineup flips over and digging in Caesar Morales. He flew out in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. Oh. You got to love that as a hitter right there. It doesn't happen much, but when it does, you have to find a way to take advantage of the count.
Runners on first with one down. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike and it's all knotted up at one and one. In the air out to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Benintendi and that's the second out of the inning. The at the plate Alcides Escobar head to head with Erasmo Ramirez. Escobar. He's only one for ten. Here's the first pitch to him. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Now that's popped up. Pierce will put this one away and the side is retired. Ladies Orioles leave one, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. So striding in, Xander Bogart. Leading off. He lined Bogart, out in his stop. last trip, so looking not for better stop. fortunes here. Xander. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little Bogart. frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Hey. A high fastball is in there. They haven't gotten much going against this guy so far in this one. He's been pitching well, and one of the key numbers to look at First pitch strikes over 70% so far in this outing. One and one the count. Skied into straightaway right. Rickards on his horse. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Here's J.D. Martinez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Splitter swung on and missed 0 1. Hey, I know it's a day game, but these guys better wake up. He's on point today, throwing a lot of exploding stuff, darting and diving all over the strike zone. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. On uh, that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. I'll tell you right now this guy has a shutout going and it's been all the business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Stepping in Dustin Pedroia. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat. And that misses ball one. Two and oh. Well, two and oh now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack at, you can bet he's not going to hold back. The 2 0. -oh. Fouled off. Cobb gets the sign. Here it is on two and one. Sent fouled again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. The 2 2 Here we go. is laid off, and the count runs full. And it's late to his afternoon of work, and the longer this at bat goes, the better of chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up. But man, he's been good so far. Count is full. Here's the pitch. 
hit on the ground out for short. Escobar has it. Throw on to Trumbull will be in time, and the inning is over. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Digging in the switch hitter, Jonathan VR. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Jonathan VR. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 and now. When you're down six on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. On deck, the right-handed hitting Mark Trumbo. The 3-0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. You could clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call, and this manager, he didn't like it either, as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. The three and one pitch. Full count, three and two. Three two pitch. Just stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Once again, a three two. Count still full, three and two. He's set. Here's the three and two. Count remains full. The next three two and a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. That is not the way he wanted to start off this half inning. It's one thing to walk the leadoff hitter but it's even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. So now the Oriole cleanup hitter Mark Trumbo. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost Matty almost went deep his last A.B. certainly just missed it with this guy's big power. He's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Now it's Matty. hard to do Let's anything do with a pitch like that right. that's below the zone. Right. And if you do do anything with it most of the time this will be the result a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. Into the box now, Trey Mancini. He offers at it and sends a bouncer out to short. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. They lead it 6 zip. Into the box now, Steve Pierce. We're in the eighth now, and Leading nothing's off. changed Four out there on the off. mound. Well, I've been the very impressed baseman. with how this starter's going about Jeez. his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, Here. and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. First offering on its way. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. There's a line drive base hit to left field. So it's a leadoff base hit to open their half of the eighth. Hey, this pitcher's been absolutely in his zone up until this point. Now that was a retired streak, base. just broken up. He had retired. 
12 batters in a row. That's four clean innings. Let's see if the offense gets going. Stepping in now, Eduardo Nunez, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Pierce on at first, nobody out. Lined hard toward right center, but this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Now batting, center fielder, Jackie. Now to the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0-1. Here's the 0-1. Here's a pop-up now. Sucre has a play, he's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. Into the box, Christian Vasquez. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Cobb comes set. Here comes the first pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. You know, they finally get the leadoff runner on. It, it would be sad to watch him waste this opportunity. Somebody's got to come through with a base hit. The 0 and 1 delivery. Behind 0 and 2 now. Here it comes on nothing and two. One ball, two and five, certainly man. no offer at that one. It's one and two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. The two two. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Three two pitch, line towards center field. Stewart will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One left for the Red Sox. They still find themselves down six zip. Stepping in and ready for another shot. DJ Stewart will be charged with trying to get on board leading off the ninth. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Oh, he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0 and 2. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Hops this one up. Bogarts is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now that's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch right. up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Standing in now, Chris Davis. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. The 1 0. Misses for the second ball.
Now the 2 1 pitch takes a pass and misses that strike two. One out nobody on. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high three and two. The three two pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on the first will get him. Score at 5 3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6 to 3 ground ball. Now Nevertheless, that. there are two away now. Digging in and looking for more. Jesus Sucre. He singled his last time up. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Nope. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 0. Oh. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. Fouled away. The one two misses ball two. Here now the two two doesn't get the zone count full now. Joey Rickard would be next. Now the three and two pitch too high and that cost him ball four. Up next for the Orioles the right fielder Joey at the plate Joey Rickard he's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch on its way. Shoots this one over to first. Pierce with a great play. It's there. He got him. Another look at the fine play at first that concludes matters here in the inning. We return to Fenway Park after this. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Andrew Benintendi. He's going to lead things Leading off in their Let's half go. of the ninth as they no try to here. avoid the dreaded Andrew. shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out, and over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. He's ready. Here's the first offering. That's a and a bit too high with that one. It's one and oh. Looks like a lefty and a right hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Two balls and no strikes now to the Red Sox left fielder. Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. 3 0 now. He's had command of his pitches all day, hasn't walked a soul, but we find ourselves in a three ball count here. Want to see how aggressive he gets in the zone. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. And could this be the start? It's a long way back, but the leadoff man is on base to start their final set of at bats. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Striding in for Boston, Mookie Betts. It was a flyout for him in his last trip.
Here's the first pitch to him. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Good pitch there. Had him a little out in front. Now the 0-2 pitch. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the corner. And I mean just off the corner. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat, is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Full count, here it comes. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball. So I think he wasn't expecting it at all. In now, Xander Bogarts. He swings and grounds it to short over to VR. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. 6 nothing, the final shutout score today. Baltimore took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Alex Cobb takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. And it's a dandy, a complete game, three-hit performance. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show.